Mike, what is the aim of the game? Okay, so this is called the wrecking ball, and your goal is to knock down all the bottles. Ruin, how many are you going to knock down? Not with your foot! Not with your foot! Today we have come to do some construction work. So this is a place called Digger Site, where uh, kids can operate small construction vehicles, including diggers. Are you ready to try? Okay, let's go. So at the start, we put on these kind of vests. We also had a construction hat. I think that's just for show. I don't really think we need it for safety. Um, they liked it, they liked dressing up. However, it's a really hot day, and it became very apparent that with the helmet on, we were just like sweating buckets. Uh, so the helmets were taken off pretty soon, but that's okay. I think the boys were excited when they first saw the machines. They were like kind of eager to get in there. Like Kieran was already sitting in. He's like, come on, let's go, let's go. Tell me what to do. Mike, what is the aim of the game? Okay, so this is called the wrecking ball, and your goal is to knock down all the bottles. Ruin, how many are you gonna knock down? Not with your foot! Not with your foot! Kieran, this is your stick to move up the ball, to move it down. Kieran was the first one and uh, he was pretty good actually. I think he, he got the idea, he got the hang of it and he knocked down like seven or eight bottles. Left, right, left and right, right. Wow, good! You... Five, four, three, two, one! Good job. So Rune was next, and Rune is two years younger, but I thought he did really well. I think he understood the nature of the whole thing, and uh, he was also knocking down bottles with the instruction from Mike, of course. Left, right, left. Yes, yeah. very good. Four, three, two, one. Oh. So the boys did all the diggers first, and I must admit, I was a bit jealous. I wanted to have a go. <laughs> I guess there's something very uh, primal in some ways about this kind of hands-on, DIY kind of manly work. Here goes. How does this work here, huh? So, if you want to hit one down, you go that way or that way. So you go left and right. Gotta be lower. It's quite tricky. You just gotta get the exact right height and then you got this left to right motion that you have to sort of work on. It's not easy. <laughs> You're counting me down, Ruth? Come on! To be honest, they probably knocked down more than me in the given time. Impressive. We also tried the excavator. Now, in order to get the correct motion to lift the sand, they've actually got this sort of diagram in front of you with numbers. It's a bit complicated, actually. This one, you move backward, pull. Very good. And this one, you go to row one side. Turn left. Good, that's a lot. With the instructions from Mike, uh, the boys were definitely able to do it. They pretty much hit their buckets. Actually, this kind of digger work, I would not describe as fun. It's actually engaging, is how I would describe it, because you're quite focused, you know? And you can see from the boys' faces, you know, it's concentration. It's not like, ha, 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 this is the most fun ever, but it's engaging, so I think it's good. Very Yay. good. Let's try again. I don't know if you see it on camera, but for some reason the boys are really obsessed with like small stones being like gems or being treasure. So at one point I think Kieran was quite generously throwing treasure onto the pile of sand that Ruin was picking up. Very Yay. good. Well, you can also take the treasures you have put inside your buckets. I will get more treasure. And so right now, I literally have a pile of rocks over there which they insist that I take home because it's the jewels they found today. It's just gravel! We also tried a machine which I would call the claw. And uh, I quite liked it because you're picking up logs. It almost felt more natural, more manly, like a lumberjack's job. And uh, yeah, the boys again were pretty good at it. And then you move this backward, pull. Good. Okay, now we go to the left side. Okay, okay, this one you go to row one side. Very good. I don't know what the policy here is at Digger Side, but I think it's a good idea that you obviously instruct them for the first part. But I think you should let the kids try and do it by themselves and see if they've developed any like memory, any memory of the motion, muscle memory, that kind of thing. So I wanted Kieran to try and do it by himself with no instruction. Okay, Mike, don't give any instructions. Okay, sure. Uh, Kieran, try. So when Kieran had to do the motions by himself with no instruction, it took a long time. He wasn't quite getting it. Down. Huh? How to get down? 
You try. Have to grab. Try to grab. Down again. Okay. Um, but at least I was happy that he didn't get too frustrated. Because, I mean, like two years ago, I think he would have got very frustrated and almost got upset, you know. But this time, quite all right. You know, he could ask for help and things like that. You can do it. Not to open. Good. Is that uh, Some more? How you go a bit to the right? Good. Okay. You're going to try and grab now? Yeah. Oh, you got one. Good. Eventually, he got one or two, but yeah, it's the sort of thing you would actually need quite a lot of practice. I think you need to be here for like a good hour to really get the hang of all the motion. Okay, I want to have a go. All right, which ones am I going to pick up? The longest one, that one, the longest. I quite like doing the log one, actually. I don't know, I find it a little easier. Got three, Dada. Um, and it's also pretty satisfying, you know, picking up three logs, moving them over there, dropping them again. Yes. We tried the crane device where you got to pick up these metal blocks. And again, it was enjoyable for the boys, I think. Engaging is the word I always use. Now, pull backward. Whoa. Very good. Okay, stop. Okay. Push this forward. Okay, stop. Enough. And then you go to Rowan's side. Very good. So when it came to Ruin's turn, you know, he's not quite as confident and precise. So sometimes he was picking the blocks up from the side, from the corner, sort of muddling his way through. It's fine because it doesn't knock his confidence or anything like that. He's still enjoying it. Yay! High five, Ruan. You did a good job. I would recommend Digger Site for kids of this age. At least give it one go. I suppose the obvious benefits of a place like this is, you know, your motor skills, your hand-eye coordination. And uh, I think that's useful for all kids. I mean, Kieran's already pretty good physically, but I think it would be great for Ruan at four years old to, you know, develop sort of hand-eye coordination. Also, it must be good to help with their sort of concentration and patience, I suppose. Because you can see, you know, they were definitely into it. Like, they wanted to succeed, so they were very concentrated. All right, that's the episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for when we put up any more videos. If you get the Click Network app, you get the videos before they go on YouTube. And we will see you next episode.